What's up, guys? My name is Andrew Sayas. My name is Emiliano Fernando Vargas. Y hoy los vamos a introducir a mi cultura, Puerto Rico y mi cultura mexicana. Emiliano, el general Fernando Vargas. Oh, nice jab from Martinez, and there's a left hook. Skill. Oh, it's when a junior can get stopped at any time, and he gets clipped. Sayas is going to work. I think my favorite Mexican food has to be enchiladas. I love enchiladas. I think it's a go-to. I think it's, it doesn't get old. So. Is it spicy or? Uh, it depends, salsa verde okay. um, or, or salsa roja, but I mean, I don't, I don't like too much spice, so I, I, I go <laughs> with the sal salsa verde. My favorite food from Puerto Rico is actually, um, man, it depends. I, I want to say arroz con gandules y, y, y lechón. Or maybe... What's lechon? Lechon is pork. Pork, okay. Yeah. Got you. So that's, but that's, what we call it, that's what we call it in Puerto Rico, lechon, okay. puerco. Got you, um, got you. Or maybe a... Um, wow, it depends. Un mofongo. Mofongo. El mofongo. What's mofongo? El mofongo se prepara con, con plátano maduro ah. y lo haces como una bolita ah. y le pones lo, lo que tú quieras arriba. Yo, a mí me gusta mucho con carne, carne frita. Lechón. Lechón. Con lechón. Con lechón. <risa> My favorite artist, um, he has to be Eladio Carrión. Ah. Eladio Carrión o Mike Towers. Um, I like Bad Bunny too. Apoya mucho. Sí, sí, so ellos apoyan. Yeah, sí, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they show a lot of love. Um, I also like Mark Anthony. If we go to salsa and a little bit more classic, vale. yeah. I like that. Puedo entrenar eh, a con, salsa, con, también, con salsa. Con salsa también. Yeah. Y, y, y a ti, ¿cuál es tu, tu música favorita de tu cultura? Uh, yo creo, pues, definitely Vicente Fernández. Vicente you know what Fernández. I'm saying? Um, if I want to go old school, uh, but right now I like um, I like uh, Fuerza Regida. Fuerza, Fuerza Regida. Fuerza Regida. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. I feel like my Mexican accent um, will sound something like, Orale, vato. There we go. Ah, wey. Ah, orale, we orale. Estamos, estamos en todas, wey. There we estamos, go. Vamos, vamos por ahí, mijo. I like that. That's valid. Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He passed that test. Ah, here we go. No, pero papi, dímelo de... <laughs> Me, me encanta Puerto Rico y, y, y después, después de la pelea con, con lechón y... That's no. vale. That's uh, vale. No, no, no. You pass, you pass, you pass. Uh, Definitely. Um, well, in Puerto Rico, we use a... It's different for, 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 for different things. You feel me? Like, if I want to call you my friend, but I'm mi pana. pana. Mi pana, el brother, mi pana. Pana. I like that. How about Mexico? How do you call like your, your brother, like your, your guy? Uh, vato. El vato. Vato or, or, or carnal. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah, those two, I think. Puerto Rico se usa mucho el pana. Ese es mi pana. Ese es mi pana. Ese es mi vato. Ese es mi carnal. carnal. <laughs> I feel like this language is for everything. When you're mad, when you're happy. Um, when you're happy, it just depends on the emotion, obviously. Um, you, when you're happy, puñeta, let's go, we did it. De Puerto Rico! And the unified welterweight champion of the world, Hito Trinidad. Yeah, yeah, I heard yeah, that a lot. I heard that a lot when I was sparring, like yeah. you know, Puerto Rico and <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, I think, um, I think vice versa for that one is is eso or, or dale, orale. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Uh, I think you hear that a lot. Yeah, yeah, you know we do, we do. <laughs> I do hear it a lot. You can also say when I'm mad, it just depends on the way I say it. So mm. when I'm mad, I'll be like, Nieta, it's, I want to do it. It's one word for all, huh? Yeah, like it's one that. word for all. Okay. Uh, I think for 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 me, it's, it's cabron or, or <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Or, yeah. But I know that's different for you guys. For sure, know, for like sure. Really bad like when, for when, when, when we say cabron, it means like somebody that got cheated on, you know? Like, oh, okay, like, got like, you. I think for, for, for Mexicans, it's like, that's badass or, um, you know, uh, I don't I don't like that, yeah. you know, that mother, you know, or it's just a lot of things. It could be yeah, a lot of sure, things. So it's sure. like puñeta, yeah. For us, like when you when we say el corillo, that's like the, the group of people, you know, mm. like my like my people, like mm. el corillo. Estoy con mi corillo. Okay, okay, I like that's that. The billete, you know what billete is? Billete. For us, billete is el billete, el dinero. Okay. 
Oh man, I'll describe the Peruvian fan base as just living, living the moment with, with their with their fighter or, or, or whoever is in representing them. You know, they they get really into it. They um, they love, they enjoy boxing or, or, or any sport that, that we represent in. And I feel like the the, the Puerto Rican culture is very loving. I feel the, the same thing. La cultura, la cultura mexicana es, es algo muy especial. Es, es algo que, que sientes el orgullo. Claro. You know what I'm saying? Claro. Yeah, definitely. El, el mismo orgullo de Puerto yeah, Rico, el mismo, for sure. El mismo. So, you know, there's, they're diehard fans, regardless for, for, for Mexicans or Puerto Ricans. And, you know, those, those fans will stick with you for life. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, definitely, I have to. I have. I have a couple, but if I have to name, I'm gonna name two. Tito Trinidad and um, and Miguel Cotto was definitely those legends that, to this day, they they're just huge in, in not just Puerto Rico but in boxing. Yeah, I think I think for me, biggest that came out of Mexico and um, I think is Julio Cesar Chavez definitely and uh, Canelo and uh, you know my father. I, I think you know. Those fights, especially with Tito yeah. and, and stuff like that, were just so big for you know Mexican American culture and and, and, and from Puerto, and Puerto Rico, Rico too. Yeah, culture. Definitely. It was just amazing big fights. Yo, 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 yo pienso que esa esa pelea, verdad, a, tra a través de los años de Puerto Rico y México fueron los que unieron nuestra cultura uh -huh. más eh, fuera de lo que es pues el deporte. Pienso que los mexicanos y los puertorriqueños se entienden bastante porque tienen el mismo amor, la misma pasión. Puro orgullo, claro, Puro orgullo. claro. Yeah. It's like it's like something so special, something that you know, especially us fighting, you know, not with each other, yeah, but or against each other, but uh, uh, on this day, on on a day that you know is so special for Mexicans and Puerto Ricans because there's yeah, great sure. fights on there on on the same day. It's like you know, I can see myself headlining, or, or I know you see yourself headlining against a, a Mexican, or, or you know, so the rivalry is in the ring. Um, right here is all love. It's all love, man. It's all love, <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm going back to the question. Um, I feel like tener en mente que yo puedo ser la próxima leyenda de Puerto Rico es algo bonito. Es algo que me da, como como dijo Emiliano, mucho orgullo, mucho mucho amor, mucha pasión, eh, mucha hambre, obviamente, y, y y me da esa 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 fuerza extra. Para, para llevar a mi, a mi gente a lo más alto de, de, del mundo del boxeo. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Um, but I have to go with Tito yeah, Vargas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It no, was, no. Uh, but, 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 but I say it in a very respectful way. I feel like uh, it was a very. Um, it's one of the yeah. idols. Yeah, and, and, and it was, and it was, it was such an iconic fight for both of them in their career. Yeah. Um, the way that Tito got to drop um, Vargas, obviously in the, in the beginning rounds in Vargas, the way he got up and, and, and just fought his way, his way back and in the middle rounds just gave trouble to, to Tito and dropped him too. It was just amazing. It shows the, the heart that Puerto Rico and Mexico bring. I think that that fight taught the eggs that a Mexican claro. has. Claro que sí, claro que sí. Y, y eso para mi papá también. Hablamos en, you know, he talked about how after that fight, you know, he was a little depressed and, you know, after that fight, you know, fans came up to him and they told him, crying, like, you know, you make us proud to be Mexican, you know what I'm saying? So I think, I think win, lose, or draw, you know, because we all might run into that, right, hard fights. You know, my dad tells me too, you're gonna show the balls that you have. For sure. When it comes time when to it show. Com when it comes time to show, and I feel on that fight, they, he did show that. I mean, coming back and, and just putting the show that he did, dropping right. um, um, Tito when 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 Tito was already like thinking or feeling that he had it in the back, mm -hmm. was just like incredible to watch, and, and and it's something that to this day is just in such an iconic fight. It's like uh, it's like corazón de, de un mexicano. Claro. Y para ti, ¿cuál es la pelea tu pelea favorita entre México y Puerto Rico? Yo creo. Yo creo uh, Chávez y, y, uh, y Camacho. Chávez y Camacho. Chávez y Camacho. 
I think, uh, you know, Chávez es, un, es una leyenda en una, el deporte de, de boxeo y para, para, no nomás México, pero el boxeo y... Um, no, y, 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 y yo pienso que esa noche él demostró quién era el mejor dentro de ese cuadrilátero. Y él no dejó yeah. ningún tipo de dudas. Obviamente, Macho Camacho, una gran leyenda para yeah. Puerto Rico y para el mundo del boxeo. Uh -huh. Pero pienso que esa noche se demostró quién era el mejor en ese, en ese cuadrilátero. Así es. Yo creo... Pues la, la cultura, la comida y las moras. <risa> <risa> eh, yo diría que la comida, obviamente la cultura y, y, y el amor y pasión que le ponemos a todo lo que hacemos. Así Pienso es. que son tres cosas que, que me encantan de mi isla. When it comes down to, to Puerto Rico and Mexico, inside the ring is it's a rivalry. Um, you know, we, we put everything into, into that. But I feel like outside, We, we have a very, very good culture that we can, um, we can unite it and, and we understand each other and we just want to you know, bring the best out of each other, but it just stays in the ring. Outside the ring, it's all love. And the chambiadora. You know what I'm more. saying? So uh, it's a beautiful thing, both cultures coming together, especially, like I said, on, on, on big nights like that. So, uh, you know, the rivalry does definitely does stay in the ring. And I know when my father and my brothers fought out there in Puerto Rico, it was nothing but love. It was so. nothing but love. And, yeah. and, and it's been the same way for, for, for a lot of fighters that have fought in, from Puerto Rico and Mexico or against the Mexican. It's been nothing but love and respect yeah. after the fight. Yeah. Um, Obviously, there's always some diehard fans that want to go a little the extra mile. But overall, I feel like throughout the history of boxing, Puerto Rico and Mexico has thrown out some 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 great fights that have stayed in the ring and outside with been gentlemen to each other. Bueno, so yo pienso que esto ha sido todo eh, por nosotros, toda la, la cultura boricua y la cultura mexicana. Eh, volvemos a demostrar por qué el boxeo dentro del ring es una rivalidad, pero dentro, de fuera de él, eh, es todo amor y pasión. Y aquí es tengo mi, a mi hermano Emiliano mi pana, Vargas para demostrarlo. Es mi pana y, y yo soy su vato. <ríe> El vato mío. Let's go, bro. Let's go.